Okay, so let's just start with a very simple inequality, an inequality on a number line. So example one. Inequality on a number line. And here it is, 3 times x minus 2 minus 6 times 2x plus 1 is less than or equal to 15. Solve that inequal. What's that sign? Less than or equal. Oh, solve that too. I thought we were graphing it. You are. After you solve it, then you'll graph it on a number line. See, look, inequality on a number line. We don't need that. Why does Moby the Grand start talking about me? Because Moby. Why do you keep talking about me? Well, why are you talking about me? Because I like talking. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> okay. I almost thought you said less than. Okay, so we expand it. Although actually we could have divided everything by three or negative three. Right off the bat. But we are too stupid to see that. Well, really, it's six and one half dozen of the other. It's not a big deal multiplying by three and then dividing by nine at the end instead of having to divide by three at the end wouldn't have saved a whole bunch. Yeah. But it was possible since there was a 3 and a 6 and a 15 to divide through by 3 in the first place, right? So possible but not necessary. On a number line, then, we have a number line. And we're going to put negative 3 on the number line. And how do I graph this on a number line? What kind of dot? A solid dot. Let's call them solid or, okay, so solid dot on the negative three, saying that the solution includes negative three, and then all numbers greater than, or sorry, uh, greater than or equal to negative three. Okay, any questions? Good, so let's do one on a coordinate plane involving two variables, so example two. Inequality <laughs> on a coordinate plane. Okay, so this will be two variables. X and Y. Okay, so what's the inequality? Well, okay, so first off, how are we going to do this? So first thing we're going to do is we're going to isolate the y on the left-hand side of the inequality. Okay? We're then going to draw a boundary line, which is the line y equals, right? We want to get this into the form y is less than, or y is greater than, or y is less than or equal to, or y is greater than or equal to. We need to graph the line, which is the boundary, which is the line y equals. And we decide if it's less than or equal to, we do a solid line to say it includes the line, that the region includes the line. If it's strictly less than, strictly greater than, we draw a dashed line to say that it does not include the line. Okay, and then we shade in the region that's associated. If it's less than, it'll be the region below the line. If it's greater than, it'll be the region above the line, right? Because in that region, all of the y values will have a value greater than, you know, any value on that line. Okay, so it's process. Isolate the y, draw a boundary line, and shade. So isolate y. Would you get it? I get like twice on the left hand side. Draw a boundary line. <laughs> Shade. Okay, so we're going to get an inequality. We're going to isolate it so that its y is on the left hand side by itself. Left hand side. LHS. 
or something high school. If, you know. There was a high school whose name only started with an L. They could be LHS. <laughs> okay, so let's start with one that's nicely isolated for us. Say y is greater than or equal to two thirds x plus four. Yes, every word you're saying is coming out there. So when your parents come and I say, this is what they sound like in class. Okay, so we want to graph y is greater than or equal to 2 thirds x plus 4. Let's see, can I pull up a grid? That's a table. How would we do the table? Yeah, that's pretty much. Wait, Although it's not, uh, nah. Get rid of that. It's too big. Oh, too big. I don't know. Can I insert a grid? Bank page, fixture, gallery, protractor, ruler protractor, a geo drive. What the heck's a geo drive? <laughs> ah, that's kind of cool. Yeah. I'm so hungry. Draw so much dicks on your no, no, no. Are you good? No grids. Ah, we'll just fake it. Good. Okay, how do I graph two thirds x plus four? And what am I going to graph? A solid line or a dashed line? Solid. solid line because it's greater than or equal to. So the line includes the solution to this, right? Okay, so how do we graph? Y intercept is 4. Okay, it goes up 2 and right 3. Or it goes down 2 and left 3. Okay. So, we isolate the Y already was. We graph the boundary line. If it is strictly less than or strictly greater than, we will draw a dashed line to say that points on this line are not a solution to the inequality. However, any point on this line is a solution to this inequality, it will be true. For example, Grant, you got something to say? Okay. So, uh, where do we go? No, well, it's up two and right three. So this is three, six, right? 0.36. If we put the 0.36 in here, does it satisfy? Does it make a true statement? So you put in x is 6, you get 4 plus 4, which is 8. Uh, hang on. No, you put x is 3, you get 2 plus 4, which is 6. 6 is greater than or equal to 6. That is a true statement. Okay. So any point on the boundary line is true. And where are we going to shade? Above. So we shade above because we want y values which are greater than or equal to, and so a y value bigger than 6, anything up here, will be greater than or equal to that value, right? When x is 3, any value greater than 6. Okay? Isolate the y, draw the boundary line, solid line or dashed line, depending upon whether it's uh, greater than, less than, Strictly greater than, strictly less than will be a dashed line. Greater than or equal to, less than or equal to will be a solid line. And then shade. Okay, let's do a few more. Let's call this B. And we'll say 3x minus y. Greater than negative 2. Okay, what are we going to do? Isolate the y. Okay, so what am I going to do? Okay, what am I going to write? Okay. And then you two the Y. Now what? And what do I get? Y is less than 3x plus I believe Logan Okay. Oh, that's right. So. We're going to leave, normally if that was an equation, what I would do is just kind of move the y over to the right and the negative 2 over to the left and then just rewrite it. 
but this is not. It's an inequality, so we're going to isolate the y. We're going to leave it where it is. We're going to move the 3x over <clears throat> by subtracting 3x from both sides. We're then going to change, so I'm going to multiply through by negative 1, divide by negative 1, whatever. Uh, that will change the inequality sign, right? So y is less than 3x plus 2. We then graph this using slope and intercept, right? So it's in slope intercept form. So we got a 2, we got a 3x, which says go up 3 over 1, up 3 over 1, go down 3, left 1. <clears throat> yeah, and it should be a dashed line, right? Because this is strictly less than. Yeah, if only. Yeah, I appreciate it. I, I appreciate that. This oh, channel. <laughs> what? Okay, so we really wanted to draw a dashed line to indicate that points on this line are not part of the solution. Should it also be bendy like yours? <laughs> Wait, what? Or in what case? Okay. <laughs> if you're lucky, I'll give you a grid. Uh, and if I do give you a grid, then yeah, maybe your line's not perfectly straight, but you better have points on the grid that I can see that are the correct points, okay? So anytime you graph something, if it's on a grid, I'm looking for the points. The line doesn't have to be perfect. It's hard, you know, you're under pressure, it's a test, you might not have time, you didn't bring a straight edge with you, so you can't actually draw a straight. So um, you do the best you can. Which way are we shading? Down. To the right. Okay. So we're shading below. Now, question is, yeah, just wait and read the text. Oh, it's like this thing reflects light. Oh, it says Happy Pi Day. Oh, I knew it was Happy Pi Day. From a former colleague. Uh, yeah, guy used to work here, guy used to teach here. So. Now, here's the thing. How do we know we did this right? Like, what if we shouldn't have flipped and we did, or we didn't flip and we should have? One way to test this out is to just say, well, it looks like 0, 0 is in the solution region, right? Which means if I go to the original, then 0, 0 should satisfy this, right? 0 minus 0 is 0 greater than negative 2. Yes, it is good. Then we know we've shaded correctly, right? If we had shaded above, and then we'd say 0, 0 should make that a false statement, right? You can always put 0, 0 in, which makes life nice and easy because something just becomes 0. And then you determine, oh, is that true or not, right? So, you know, if you had left this as greater than and you put 0, 0, well, you would have shaded there. You put 0, 0 and expecting a false statement because it's not in the shaded region. And you say, oh, wait a sec, right? And same thing, you can put basically any point that's in the region, if I think, like, you know, we put in the point negative 10, negative 10, or, I'm sorry, negative 10, 10, that's obviously not in the region, that should make this false, right? So negative 10 would be negative 30, plus 10 is negative 20, which is not greater than negative 2, right? and that's in the region where it should be false, so. But usually I would use 0, 0 as a test point, right? And either expect a true statement or a false statement. Take it from there. Uh, Let's try another couple. 5x plus 2y is less than or equal to 6. Okay, 5x plus 2y is less than or equal to 6. What's the first step? So what are we going to write? 2y less than 6 minus 5x. Okay, now what? Why? What do we do with this? Same thing. It's the same thing. When I graph it, solid line or dashed line? Solid. Solid line because it is included in the solution set, right? 
So we got three, <coughs> we got negative five halves. And we shade which way? Is zero, zero in the region of truthiness? Yes. So zero is less than or equal to six, that is true. Talk to Stephen Colbert about that. Okay, so zero, zero is in the solution region, right? Basically, we're splitting the plane into two half planes, right? I mean, the plane's are infinitely large, so I guess it's half either way. We're splitting the plane into two regions, one of which is the solution region and one of which isn't. Okay. Why do you draw your What if there's five solutions? Let's do some special, special, special. Why is less than three? How do we graph that? <laughs> I don't know. Dashed your solid horizontal line. Dash. Where? Dash. Sonic dash. Dash. Three. Yeah. Dash, dash. What is the complication? Shady area. Shady Plug in zero zero. Is zero less than three? Yes. yes. And zero is in the in the solution region. It's one less than three. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Question. So we got a horizontal line, we're going to draw the line, right? Whenever we're solving these, we're going to draw the line. After we draw the line, we're going to, well, sorry, we're going to figure out what, what line it should be, then is it a solid or a dashed line? Draw the line and then shade. Okay, <coughs> last one. Oh, second last one. Oh, no. Last one. Oh, I mean, you can think of this as, you know. You know, if you want an x in there as well, you can think of 0x plus y is less than 3. Okay, we're not. Oh, so. so what's ox? What is y is equals 0? Ox. It's, it's what you're smart as. Okay, last one. x is greater than or equal to 2. What are you doing? What is wrong? Try the point zero zero. Is zero greater than or equal to two? Yeah. No. And it's not in the solution region, so it's a good thing. All right.